Hey, welcome to another episode of Homeschooling with Zena Zhang. My name is Randall Fields. I am her father. And today we're going to be reading a relaxing book called Planets. And this is by uh, National Geographic Kids. It's written by Becky Baines. And it's part of the Explore My World series. Um, I also have this on um, on my computer. And I have it in book form. So I hope this can help you to relax. So let's read. Explore My World, Planets, by Becky Baines, National Geographic Kids, Washington, D.C. I don't know what planet that is. I I thought maybe it could be uh, Jupiter, but I'm not really sure. Look, it's planet Earth. From way up high, our planet looks like a floating marble of blue, white, and green. But we know that it's so much more. Earth has giant oceans and tiny ponds, towering mountains, and rolling hilltops. Warm sunshine, fluffy snowflakes, stormy showers, and falling autumn leaves. So we have a fox. We have the beautiful plains here. I would like to know where this is. Earth has big brown bears and soft cuddly bunnies, mighty lions and bouncy kangaroos, and people too. But our planet Earth is just one of many planets. What's a planet? A planet travels around a star. There are billions of stars in our universe. Our star is the sun. The sun holds eight large planets in paths that go round and round. So we have the solar system. You can't see it. But there's a force called gravity that holds the planets in place. Gravity is also what keeps you from floating into space. Planet Map The planets that circle our sun make up our solar system. Can you find Earth? The Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. I do believe that um, Jupiter might be larger than all of the planets combined in the solar system, but I'm not sure of that. I know that the sun is like one million Earths the size of our sun. Mercury. The surface of Mars looks red because it's covered with 
reddish rocks called iron ore. The four planets closest to the sun are made of rock and metal. They are the warmest of all the planets. The two closest are a little too warm for us. Earth is in just the right spot called the Goldilocks zone. People live where it's not too cold or too hot. And you have a Mars rover there. Uranus. There are four gas giants that whoosh and swirl way out in space. They don't have a hard ground like the rocky planets. Wow, that's amazing. Like a, a planet that's just made of gas. Can you even call it a planet if it's just made of gas? Ring around the planet. Some planets have rings around them. Saturn's rings are made of dust and ice. Sunlight reflects off the ice and makes the rings sparkle. Saturn's rings. Close up. A spacecraft took the photo of Pluto from 280,000 miles away. That's 450,000 kilometers. Five teeny tiny planets called dwarf planets can be found in our solar system too. They're too small to be called regular planets, but they're too big to be just rocks. A rocket blasts off into space. Some dwarf planets are very far away. If you could travel to the farthest one in a rocket, it would take up to 30 years to get there. Wow, that's a long way. Wild weather. The weather on other planets is not like here on Earth. An ordinary day on Venus is 400 times hotter than the hottest summer day on Earth. Wow. Jupiter and Venus have hurricanes that last for years. Giant dust storms rage on Mars for months. This is the surface of Venus. That's the surface, this molten rock. Wow. Pluto and its moon, Charon. As Pluto travels away from the sun, the gas around the planet freezes and falls down as snow. Jupiter and its moons. Wow, look at all those moons. Some people have moons. Some planets have moons. Moons are rocks or ice that circle a planet. Earth has one moon, but Jupiter has more than 60. Wow. Earth and its moon. It took astronauts in a spaceship three days to reach our moon. It would take more than a year to fly from Earth to Jupiter's moons. Our solar system 
might seem like a very big place, but it's just one solar, solar system in a galaxy called the Milky Way. So far, scientists have con counted 500 other solar systems in our galaxy. We have the Pinwheel Galaxy, the Milky Way Galaxy, the Cigar Galaxy. The Milky Way is just one of hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. If you started counting now, it would take you 30 years to count just, just one billion. Wow, 30 years. Howdy, neighbor. With so many planets, you might wonder if there are other people or animals out in space. Astronomers are space scientists who wonder the same thing. The Kepler spacecraft helps scientists in Earth explore space. Astronomers use telescopes to explore the night sky. They use computers to help them search for planets that are the most like Earth. They have already found a few. Observatory in La Sereno, Chile. Look up. Maybe one day, when you're all grown up, you will be able to board a rocket to Mars. Until then, look up at the night sky. Watch, wonder, and imagine what else is out there. And so he has a telescope. I always wondered about space when I was younger. I wanted to go to, uh, I believe, to Jupiter. I was very fascinated with Jupiter, how large it was. Build an alien. If astronomers did find life on other planets, what do you think those aliens would look like? Would they have spider eyes, duck feet, an elephant trunk, moose antlers, a dolphin tail? Grab a piece of paper and draw your own alien. And that is the end of this book. Planets. I love reading. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe because I update daily. Goodbye.